On part one of our story about Hint, we heard how founder Kara Golden came up with the idea for a sugar-free, non-preservative, non-additive, fruit-enhanced water company. But now, working with her husband Theo, she had to get her idea to market and fast. Carol was about to give birth to their fourth child, and it was a race against the clock for two of the biggest deliveries of their lives. You're watching The Grow Wire Show. Theo was starting from square one. He had to learn the beverage and bottling industry and find ways to bring their first product to market with only eight months to do it. Kara knows I'm good at solving problems, figuring things out, and, and so I went and started talking to the bottlers and we quickly realized that they had no idea how to make this product. Yeah. But it was such a like mental block that yeah. people had that like anything with flavor, just had to be sweet because yeah. that's what everything was out there in the market. What she wanted to do, which was make, you know, a really delicious, fresh tasting, unsweetened product with no preservatives that would obviously have to be shelf stable. It just wasn't possible to do it. You know, I figured she would kind of back down then and we'd just move on and do something else. <laughs> but um, she said, you know, what any great entrepreneur would say, which is, okay, well, what can we do? And so I said, sort of jokingly, well, we could have like a really short shelf life product that tastes really good and isn't sweet and doesn't have any preservatives. And she said, great, that's awesome. So let's just like do it locally. We'll distribute it ourselves and we'll see if it's even worth putting effort into. So the Goldens decided to move forward with their idea, knowing they'd need to figure out mass distribution later. They put their own money on the line, hired a co-packer and a bottler, and produced their very first run of Hint product just in time. I was having a planned C-section at two o'clock in the afternoon, so I thought, okay, the product was a little delayed and it got to us the day before uh, we, I was going into the hospital. And so I woke up and I said to my husband, I was like, you know, it would make me feel so great if I, you know, crossed this off my list, got it actually on the shelf at Whole Foods, so will you come with me? And uh, once again, yeah, he's like, you're crazy. You're crazy, <laughs> but I'll carry the cases for you. And so we went to Whole Foods and I said, hey, do you remember me? So then I went and delivered Justin, everything's great. And then the next day we're, um, we get this phone call and it's from the guy at Whole Foods. My husband answered the phone and he said, hey, we've, um, we've gone through the product and um, you know, bring more soon because you guys are gonna lose the shelf space. We went through 10 cases in like 24 hours. And so that was the point where I really felt like, oh my God, we're like off to the races. And I had no idea of the challenges. The Goldens had a hit on their hands, but a hit and a growing business are two very different things. Two years in, we were getting to the point where we really couldn't expand anymore without having that long shelf life. Right. And I was very stressed out about it. I mean, I was just like running into all kinds of roadblocks in distribution. Check out the third and final part of this story to see how Hint grew from one shelf in a San Francisco Whole Foods to a nationwide brand. <laughs> 